When you're pregnant, have you ever been concerned about dyeing your hair? Or has someone actually said to you that you can't dye your hair at all and you're just worried about your roots growing out the whole time? Well, today we are gonna talk about hair dye in pregnancy. Welcome to the Dr. Lexi Show, where I take pregnancy topics and break them down into simple terms to help you advocate for yourself and your pregnancy. I'm Dr. Lexi, a board-certified OBGYN and maternal fetal medicine specialist, which just means a high-risk pregnancy doctor. And today we're talking about hair dye. So I kind of do this and break it down a little bit, and first I like to go into expanding your knowledge. So what is it that we need to know about hair dye, and why is it so concerning? Well, during pregnancy, the concern is that someone could inhale fumes. And that's what everyone gets really concerned about when they get their hair colored, is that the fumes would be a problem for them. And it's important to know that widespread data shows that there are no concerns for increased risks of cancer to the baby. Now that was something that some studies in the past had concern for. So I think if you go on Google or get on the internet, that's probably what you would be seeing that would make you concerned. So now that we kind of know as far as what the big concern is, the other thing with expanding your knowledge is why is it difficult sometimes to breathe when you're pregnant? Well, you have a lot of different changes that go on in your body. And as far as the respiratory system goes, some of those changes are as early as eight weeks during the pregnancy. So you might actually start feeling more short of breath at that time. And a lot of that is due to the higher levels of progesterone in the body. So not only do you have a little bit of the changes within the body from the hormones, you also have changes that are going on with the shape of your diaphragm. And it actually just moves around a little bit because you're getting prepared for your abdominal cavity to grow. And so the diaphragm is moving upward and outward by centimeters. And so some people start to feel some of those movements early and you're getting a little bit of the shifting preparing you for this growing uterus. And obviously it will continue to kind of move more as the uterus moves up and up above the belly button. And anytime above the belly button, the belly button actually is right at 20 weeks pregnant. So just so you're aware, when you are 20 weeks, your uterus, the top of the uterus should be right at your belly button. And that's kind of how we go for measuring things. So you can imagine as it moves above that belly button, after 20 weeks along, you're gonna get more pressure on that diaphragm because that's what's right above there, all right? So it is a little bit more difficult for some people to take big deep breaths. And so that's also a concern if people are around fumes or things that are bothersome. So the other thing I want you to kind of expand your knowledge with is knowing that you shouldn't be inhaling things like ammonia and peroxides. And so that's one of the things that we're gonna look at for developing the skills on talking to individuals that are doing your hair and when you're shopping for anything in case you're doing a home kit or something like that. So for developing some skills, now that we know the changes that your body is undergoing during the pregnancy, the question is how do we best advocate for doing the right thing with hair dye, particularly during a pregnancy? One of the things is you can ask the individual that's helping you with your hair or if you're doing it at home, making sure that the items do not have peroxide or ammonia within them. Those can be more irritating to the respiratory tract. So you wanna to try to avoid those. You also can choose things that are natural or organic. That would be a little bit helpful. Try to choose items that are plant-based. That's also very helpful. And the next thing is making sure that you're in a location that is open aired right? So that you have a place that you can breathe really well, that it's not stuffy, that you're not stuck in a very small contained location. And finally, what is the impact we want to have here? My goal is for everyone to have a happy and healthy pregnancy. And if you have questions about dyeing your hair, now you at least know some of the questions to ask to the individuals that are working with you. Also make sure to always tell someone you're pregnant, especially early on in the first trimester when they might not know you're pregnant so that they can make sure to choose the best hair products for you. Also, when you're looking at the store, try to look at things and avoid any peroxides or ammonia in any of the hair products that you're using, even if it's not hair dye, but if it's just general products that you're using at home on a semi-regular basis. Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget you can go to drlexihill.com backslash advocate to get your 13 questions to ask your OB provider. And as always, leave any comments or questions below, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching today. I'm Dr. Alexi, wishing you a happy and healthy pregnancy.